We are the chosen generation. We've been called for to show His excellence. All I require for life, God has given me. For I know who I am. I know who God says I am. What He says I am. Where He says. I am. Hi, everybody. This is Sister Shelley. And just a quick reminder, today's fast is a communications fast. So that means no social media platforms, uh, no personal texting, Twitter, Kick, Snapchat, Facebook, the internet, instant messaging, or any other communication device. Today's devotion will focus on the theme, I am an heir, and our key verse is from Romans chapter 8, verses 17, and I'll be reading from the Amplified Version. And if we are his children, then we are his heirs also, heirs of God and fellow heirs with Christ, sharing his spiritual blessings and inheritance, if indeed we share in his sufferings, so that we may also share in his glory. Okay, let's break apart the verse so that it'll make more sense. Uh, let's look at the definition for the word heir. Um, heir is a person who is legally entitled to inherit something. Paul, who wrote the book of Romans, is speaking of a Christian's spiritual inheritance. This inheritance is based on our relationship with Jesus Christ. Uh, it is also important to realize that this inheritance can only be given to those who have accepted Jesus Christ as their personal savior. Okay, let's examine why this is or how do we become entitled to this promised gift. To be an heir to someone implies that there is some type of bloodline or you are somehow related to the person that's passing on the inheritance. So children, whether natural or adopted, are heirs to their parents, for example. So in this case, we are God's children by our faith in him. This is our direct bloodline to him. Basically, when you genuinely accept Jesus Christ in your heart, he then adopts us as his children and freely gives us this inheritance or gift. Let's take a look at what is to be inherited. Uh, the verse mentions, so that we may also share in his glory. This is referring to heaven, happiness, eternal life, uh, salvation, deliverance from sin, uh, we inherit all things that are his because remember Jesus is the creator of everything that is good let's make sure we make that very clear <laughs> we also inherit Jesus himself so we gain his grace his love his mercy wisdom his power favor faithfulness his protection etc I could go on for days uh, we inherit every good thing that embodies Jesus Christ. What does it mean to share in his sufferings? As Christians, we will face persecution. Uh, we will encounter those who do not believe or respect our faith or even want to hear when we try to witness to them or tell them about God. Uh, we may experience rejection. They may completely dismiss you when you speak of Jesus. But don't let that deter you or scare you because we don't face these situations by ourselves. Jesus is with us every step of the way and he is going through it with us. So we're never alone. Uh, let's remember that Jesus did take on the human form when he came to, uh, to earth to sacrifice his life for us. So he understands every single human feeling that there is. He understands what we feel and he can sympathize with us because he's went through, he went through that as well uh, while he was here on earth in the human form. We may even encounter people that don't wish us well because they know we're Christians. This is okay because Christ went through the same thing. They rejected him when he tried to tell them about his father and uh, they ordered Barabbas to be freed and to uh, crucify Jesus. So he understands rejection. He completely understands every single emotion that there is. So we're never ever alone. 
God did promise us his favor and his protection. So he will always be there with us and he will always make sure we are taken care of, even though there are people out there that may not wish us well. I hope this was helpful and I hope you have a blessed day. See you later. Thank you for watching our video devotional today and we hope you learned something new about your identity in Christ. Continue to meditate on the scripture that was shared with you and be sure to spend some time in prayer. Until next time, God bless. Every day, uh, going